Hello everyone, my name is Alkaplasm, and I decided to make a quick tutorial for those of you who use RPG Maker MV. You can also use most of this stuff for Ace or VX, Ace, you know. So, what I've decided to do is I've made a tutorial, as you can probably tell from the title, which is a parameter check. You can also, if you play lots of tabletop games, you might call this a skill check, but what I mean by a parameter check, if you don't know already, is when you go to classes, these right here are your parameters. And what I like to do is I like to change luck to the chariz to charisma in the system. So if we go into system, or actually terms, sorry, and we go to luck, I like to say charisma. Okay? And that is basically, you know, how good they are at talking to people, people skills, and you know how much people like them. So you might notice that the only two things that I've changed on here are the hero classes charisma luck and the priest classes charisma luck so the priest class I have set to a value of 10 at level 1 and hero I have set to a value of 5 I figure the priest might be better at speaking to people because you know they they stand up and and you know speak to crowds of people most days depending on what type of priest they are. So we're going to start out with Harold on the map like we do right here and what we're going to do first is we're going to make an event that our player can can test their charisma on. So first I like to go and make my image first. So what I have decided to do, okay we'll find an actor to go off of and I've decided that he's going to test his charisma on Therese. Okay, so we're just going to pick her. And we're going to have her fixed. Yep, same as characters. That way we don't walk under her. Trigger button, correct. So what we first thing we need to do, basically, just to keep things flowing correctly. Is we, we need to make a, we, a text box. Okay, so... Uh, she's gonna say, um, let's see, Harold, where were you today? Okay, so right now, if we run our game, and we just walk up to her, Harold, where were you today? Okay, so that is... That is a question, and with every question, basically, you can tell the truth or you can lie. And in my video games, I like to give characters the options to do that. So, what we're going to do now is, right after she says, where were you today, we're going to give them a conditional branch. So, what that means is that we're going to give them the ability to lie or tell the truth. So, let's see. No, sorry, it's a show choice. We're going to do choices. I'm sorry about that. So, where were you today? The first thing we're going to say is, let me think about it. Um, you know, I was, let's see, she's a priest. What, what, I, let's see, I was praying to the gods, you know, uh, and that will be the lie. I was praying to the gods, or, let's see, I was killing small puppies. <laughs> you know, we'll just pick something that a priest definitely would not like. Okay, so, um, I was praying to the gods, or I was killing small puppies. So, that gives you an option, okay? And so, if we go through and we play the game, save the changes, now go up to her. Harold, where were you today? I was praying to the gods. I was killing small puppies. You know, uh, we're going to lie and it's going to stop it, okay? We don't have anything there yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this event and right after saying, I was praying to the gods, I was killing small puppies. So when I was praying to the gods, we need to make a bluff check, okay? So what we're going to do here is we're going to do go to the control variables. 
So we have to make a variable. So none of the variables here have any names yet. So we're going to name this one. And we're going to name this Herald Charisma. Okay? So we're going to apply there. And then so we have our variable set, Herald Charisma. What are we going to do? We're going to set Herald's Charisma to something. So operation set. And then we go to game data because we want it set as his luck, right? So then we click, you know, on this uh, button here. Go to actor. We pick Harold because we want Harold's. And then we go down to luck. Okay, see these are his parameters. Okay, so we've just hit set the variable Harold's charisma as game data luck of Harold. Okay, so right as right after saying when. I, well, I was praying to the gods. So we've just pulled Harold's luck and the computer's calculating that. Now we also need to pull and make, uh, I think her name's Therese. I'm, I don't ever use the basic characters, but uh, Therese Charisma. Okay, so we're gonna apply and we're going to set Therese's Charisma to game data, actor, threes. Okay, I was correct there. Luck. Okay, so now we have set the luck of Harold and the luck of threes. Luck of Harold, I have set in the computer, in the, in the uh, database. Harold's luck as a hero at level one is five. Okay? Now, I have threes. I have her as a priest, just because I like her as a priest better. So priest, luck at level one is 10. So if we were to set this as a test right now, hold on, let me show you. So if we were to set this as a test right now, Harold would just always fail. And you can do it that way, but I like to put a little bit of variable or variance in this because, you know, even if someone's a little better at charisma than someone else every once in a while you can uh, you know you can get lucky and someone will believe you maybe the other person's having a bad day something like that so what I like to do is I like to make it so that every time you do a bluff check it takes your charisma and then it adds a random number between 1 and 20 to that so that way and then it takes the charisma of the other person and adds a number between 1 and 20 to that it compares the two and then whoever's higher wins. So obviously, you know, if Harold's charisma was 10 and he got a 20, he could go up to 30. But if Therese's charisma was like 60, there's there's still no way that Harold can get lucky even. I mean, even on an off day, Therese would know that, you know, nah, you weren't praying to the gods, you know? So anyway, the way we do that is we do another control variable. We have Harold's Charisma, and now we're going to add a number to that. And that number will be random, and it'll be through from 1 to 20. So we've just we've just taken the luck of Harold and taken the luck of threes. Then we've added a random number between 1 and 20 to the luck of Harold. And then a ran and then we're going to add a random number between 1 and 20 to Therese's charisma. So add random. 1 through 20. Okay, so now we've added both of these together. Um, now we just need a way to set these things. So when I was praying to the gods is a lie. So we're going to do a conditional branch here. And we're going to say if variable Harold's charisma is bigger than the variable of Teresa's charisma, and once again, We've just added uh, a random number between 1 and 20 to Harold's and Therese's Charisma's. So if Harold's Charisma is bigger than Therese's Charisma after that 20 has been mod um, added, so that's our conditional branch that we want. And we want an else. So if this, else, something else. So I'll show that to you. So if Harold's Charisma is, is higher than Therese's, then we're going to say show text and we're going to put Therese's pick out. Oh, sorry. I don't know why I always think of that threes. So for Therese, we're going to say 
Wow, really? Question mark? I underestimated you. What a devoted person you are. Okay, so if we win this charisma check and Therese believes us, then she's going to say, wow, really? I underestimated you. Okay, after this event here, we want to reset these. The luck of Harold and the luck of Threes. So what we're going to do after that is we're going to go to control variable. We're going to take Harold's charisma. Yep. And then we're going to set it back. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to make this... So we're going to take Harold's Charisma and we're going to set it back to Actor Luck. Okay? And that will reset it back. Um, what we can do to reset the Reese is we can do the same thing or we can just press Control c and then Control v and that will reset both of those. Okay. So, what will happen is I was praying to the gods, you'll take their two lucks, add random number between 1 and 20 to them, and then then we're going to do run a test if Harold's charisma is higher than Theresa's. And then if they win, they'll say this and then reset it back to normal. Else that means if Harold's charisma isn't higher than Theresa's, if it matches or is lower than Theresa's, then Therese is going to be ticked off. So, once again, we're going to take a portrait of Therese and she's going to say, um, I can tell that you are lying to me. Um, what a terrible... What a terribly untrust, untrustworthy, whoa. <laughs> you can tell I can't spell untrustworthy person you are. Okay, so, I, so if I pass my bluff and says, I underestimated you, what a devoted person you are. Or I can tell that you're lying to me, what a terribly untrustworthy person you are. So after this, we can press shift to highlight these two things right here. Press control C and then control V. And we're gonna copy those resets into this text. So no matter if we tell the truth or lie, it will reset our lux at the end of these. So the last thing we need to do is I was killing small puppies. We need to have her say something to that. And what I'm going to do is instead of going in and creating a window again, I can copy and then paste their message and then edit it and then just redo this. So what should she say if he's killing small puppies? Um, you can't be serious if you are don't tell me I could never travel with such a person Okay, so now the way we've set this is she'll say, Harold, where were you today? Then you have the choice to say, I was praying to the gods or I was killing small puppies. If you say, I was praying to the gods, it will test. I will add my charisma and her charisma up and then make a test here. If it's higher, then it will say, she, you know, she'll believe you. If it's lower, she'll say, I can tell you're lying to me. Both ways, their luck resets. 
if you tell the truth, none of that happens. And she goes and says, you can't be serious. There's one more thing I like to do to help my players to know when they're telling the truth or lying, because it's irritating if you're not sure. So I like to edit the show choices. I was praying to the gods, and I will put in quotations, bluff, or sometimes I'll put in quotations, lie. I like to let people know what they're doing here. So if I say lie, I oftentimes like to do a command which, you know, kind of advanced if, if you're still working on control variables. But if you press slash C, that means color, and then in brackets, 10. That's the color red. So I like to put lie afterwards. That way people know, hey, this is a lie. Afterwards, to reset it, you press slash, brackets, 0, and it will reset it back to white. So we're going to have it say lie and let people know that before they make the choice. So we're going to apply that and we're going to see how it works. So save the game, press play, new game, and we're going to walk over to her. Hey, Therese. Harold, where were you today? I was praying to the gods. I can lie or I was killing small puppies. So if I say I was killing small puppies, then she'll say this and it works correctly. So now let's talk to her again. I was praying to the gods. We're lying. Wow, really? I underestimated you. What a devoted person you are. So we just won the test. So we had to get 10 plus whatever her number was. We basically had to be lucky here. Uh, let's ask her again and see if we can lose. I can tell that you're lying to me. What a terribly untrustworthy person you are. So I just failed my bluff check. Uh, in the game, you might want to have it pop up saying like, you know, lost relationship or, um, you know, detected bluff or something like that. But here we go. So we've just done a test and we have made it so that you can pass or fail it. And we've given you different options for passing and failing. So thank you guys very much for looking at my tutorial today. Uh, I appreciate you watching. Have a fantastic day.